What's up everyone, Rob from Mishimoto. Today we're going to install our intercooler in your 2011 to 2014 Ford F-150 EcoBoost pickup. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include 10 millimeter socket, quarter inch drive ratchet and extension, 13 and 15 millimeter sockets, 3 8 drive ratchet and extension, small pick, hose pick tool, flathead screwdriver, a panel tool, and a 10 millimeter wrench. Installation time is about two and a half hours. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you're unsure. From underneath the vehicle, release the four quarter turn fasteners and five pop clips that secure the shrouding to the radiator support. Remove the two quarter turn fasteners that secure the rear splash panel to the under tray. Remove the four bolts that secure the under tray and then remove the under tray from the vehicle. Loosen the clamps that secure the hot side intercooler pipes to the intercooler. Then separate the intercooler pipes from the intercooler. Our vehicle had Mishimoto pipes installed, but yours may still have the stock worm gear clamps. Remove the two nuts that secure the air dam to the vehicle. Then remove the air dam. Remove the circlip that secures the cold side pipe to the intercooler. Work a pick behind the circlip to get it started, and then remove it by hand. Once the circlip is removed, separate the intercooler pipe from the intercooler. Loosen the clamps that secure the Y-shaped induction hose to the airbox and intake pipes. Then, separate the induction hose from each connection and remove it from the vehicle. Disconnect the wiring harness from the sensor on the cold side intercooler pipe. To release this connector, depress the black tab and pull the connector off the sensor. Disconnect the hose from the cold side intercooler pipe. To release this connection, squeeze the tabs on the underside of the connector and slide the locking clip away from the port. Loosen the clamp that secures the cold side intercooler pipe to the throttle body. Then separate the pipe from the throttle body. Lift the pipe upward to give yourself more room around the intercooler. If you have a newer model F-150, there will be a recirculation valve attached to the intercooler. You'll have to disconnect the electrical harness from the solenoid and separate the hose from the valve. Remove the two bolts that secure the upper intercooler mounting brackets to the frame rails, and then remove the mounting bracket. Support the intercooler and remove the two bolts that secure the lower intercooler mounting bracket to the frame rails, and then remove the mounting bracket and intercooler as one unit. Remove the mounting bushings from the bottom of the factory intercooler. If you have a newer model F-150, remove the recirculation valve from the intercooler by turning it counterclockwise. Locate the bushings included with your kit and install them to the Mishimoto intercooler. Locate the large washers included with your kit and install them over the bolts that secured the upper intercooler mounting bracket. If you have a 2011 or 2012 F-150, install the CNC plug to the recirculation valve port on the Mishimoto intercooler. If you have a newer F-150, leave this port open for now. Lower the intercooler into place and allow it to rest on the frame rails. If you have a newer F-150, slide the intercooler as far forward as possible and install the recirculation valve. Install the bushings you removed earlier to the mounting pegs on the Mishimoto intercooler and install the lower support bracket. Then secure the bracket to the vehicle with the original hardware.
Secure the intercooler to the frame rails using the two original bolts and washers you installed earlier. Reattach the hot side intercooler pipes and tighten the clamps to secure them. Attach the cold side intercooler pipe to the intercooler and secure it with the circlip. Make sure the circlip engages the slots on the hot side pipe. Reattach the cold side intercooler pipe to the throttle body. Reconnect the hose to the cold side intercooler pipe and lock the connection. Reconnect the wiring harness to the sensor on the intercooler pipe. Reinstall the Y-shaped induction hose and tighten the clamps to secure it. If you have a newer style F-150, reconnect the electrical harness for the solenoid and reattach the hose to the valve. Locate the driver's side air diversion panel included with your kit. When properly oriented, the tabs on the panel will point towards the outside of the vehicle and the threaded insert will be at the top. Lower the panel into place so that the front edge of the panel fits between the bolt and tab on the bumper. Then turn it to align the bolt holes on the air diversion panel with the threaded bungs on the intercooler. Locate the passenger side air diversion panel and lower it into place as shown here. Place the edge of the air diversion panel on the inside edge of the bolt in the bumper. Then turn it to align the bolt holes on the air diversion panel with the threaded bungs on the intercooler. Locate the upper air diversion panel in your kit. Flex the panel slightly to get the front edge under the bumper cover and then lower it into place over the other panels. Adjust the panel to line up the hole with the threaded insert on the driver's side panel. Thread in one of the provided flange head bolts, but don't tighten it yet. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Thread in the remaining flange head bolts to secure the side panels to the intercooler. Tighten the bolts that secure the side panels to the intercooler, then adjust the upper panel so it's flush with the top of the intercooler and tighten the last two bolts. Reinstall the under tray and secure it with the four original bolts. Then reattach the rear splash panel to the under tray with the two quarter turn fasteners. Secure the shrouding to the radiator support with the five pop clips and four quarter turn fasteners. There's a drain plug located in the driver's side mounting peg. To drain moisture from the intercooler, simply remove this plug. We recommend wrapping this plug with Teflon tape before reinstallation to form a good seal. Now that you've got the intercooler installed on your F-150, double check all your connections and fire it up for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.